There is now no doubt that we're going to be facing a pilot shortage in the next few years. And one of the great criticisms is that it's too expensive to do the training. Well, there's a French company from La Rochelle that is actually doing something about it. And we're looking at the aircraft now that's soon to be certified. Welcome to the program, Cyril. Tell us about this, this Elixir aircraft. Hello. So we are quite proud to present the Elixir for the second time at the Paris Air Show, just before certification. This is a training aircraft dedicated to train those new uh, commercial pilots coming in the uh, 20 uh, coming years. So uh, it will be cheaper, easier, easier to maintain and uh, more versatile. You can do every mission with it. So you say it's going to be cheaper. How is that? What's different with this when you've manufactured it to any other training aircraft? Um, and how are they going to save money? So big saving can be done on maintenance today and as well on fuel. But first of all, we wanted to simplify the aircraft. You know, uh, current aircraft, current flying aircraft are from the 60s and they are made of thousands of pieces. And this is time where mechanics spend to check control to guarantee the safety level. So what we wanted to do is just reduce dramatically the number of pieces to make sure that mechanics will just focus on the recurrent maintenance they have to do. So that's a big saving, we are estimating 20 euros per hour of maintenance on 20,000 uh, uh, hours of flight. So that's huge compared to the 50 to 60 euros per hour you can get with other aircraft. And then when you put a modern engine with a, a low fuel consumption, 10 to 15 liters per hour, you reduce dramatically as well the fuel consumption. So the objective is to offer an aircraft with 40 euros per hour of just fuel and maintenance. And then you just do every mission you can do. Now, the um, fuel that they use on it, because you've got a Rotex engine, what are, you, what are you using for that? So our advice is to use Mogas. It's cheaper and uh, it saves also 50 uh, hours in maintenance. So uh, the objective is really uh, to fly the aircraft with uh, just regular auto uh, Mogas and uh, that's it. Okay, now when, when do you expect flying schools to be really finding out about this, this aircraft? When do you expect to see certification? So uh, we're expecting it by the end of the year, I believe, end of the summer, maybe autumn, we can't uh, know it yet, but so uh, we passed the static uh, test of the wing, which is the hardest stuff to do uh, to get the paper. So it's uh, on the way, we are hiring four new engineers now just to uh, prepare production. We have 84 uh, pre-orders, so that's quite a good news. Uh, I would say two thirds of it are for flight school and one third are for private owners. So we have a, a lot of uh, work coming in the two to three uh, years. And I know if we're looking at buying an aircraft, uh, you know, one of the traditional, if you like, uh, trainers that we're seeing, we're looking at around a quarter of a million dollars at the least. Um, what sort of price are you going to be coming in at? So our target price is 150,000 euros exvat for the basic version with 100 horsepower. And if you go to IFR with big engine, 140 uh, uh, horsepower, it will be around 200 to 220, 30, we don't know yet, uh, euros. So it's a big difference compared to what you can find on the market today. Great. Sarah, thank you very much and You're good welcome. luck.